The sink faucet will be either a hand pump, or if the trailer has a 12-volt demand pump, it will be a pressurized system. The hand pump operates by pumping the handle up and down. For pressurized systems, the black switch on the side of the sink cabinet must be on. The sink, faucet, toilet, and shower will be supplied from this pump. This switch should be in the off position when the trailer is traveling or in storage. To operate the gas-powered hot water heater, first make sure that the hot water heater is filled with water. To fill, simply hook up to city water and turn on the hot water at the faucet. When the water begins to come out of the faucet, the water heater is full. Or if city water is not available, the fresh water tank can be filled. Then turn on the demand pump. Turn on the hot water side of the faucet, leaving open until water comes out. This will also fill the heater with water. To light, turn the blue lighting control dial to pilot position and hold it in this position while lighting the pilot burner. It is spring-loaded, so you will be rotating it counterclockwise against the spring. Light the pilot burner with a match or lighter. Allow the pilot to burn for 30 seconds before releasing the blue dial. If the pilot does not remain lit, repeat the operation, allowing a longer period before releasing the knob. If the pilot does remain lit, turn the control knob to the on position. Begin with the temperature level set at the mark between the warm and hot position and adjust as needed to your desired temperature. Make sure you close and secure the access door. Remember, LP has virtually no odor when it is burning. Anytime you smell the sulfur-like smell of LP gas, you should quickly identify the source. If you cannot determine exactly what is causing the odor, exit the trailer and turn off your LP tank immediately. LP gas is explosive, and misusing it can be very dangerous. Do not light matches or cigarette lighters in the presence of LP gas, and do not use electrical appliances, including light switches or fans, if you can smell the gas. Some SCAMP models can be special ordered with an electric water heater, which operates on 120 volt power. If your SCAMP is equipped with an electric water heater, fill it with water in the same manner used for a gas water heater and then turn the breaker for the water heater on. Never leave this breaker on if the electric water heater is not full of water, as damage will result. Demand pumps are installed in any trailer with a shower or toilet. All demand pumps work off the 12 volt electrical system and are filtered. To operate the pump, the black switch on the side of the sink cabinet must be on. The sink faucet, toilet, and shower are supplied from this pump. A 12-volt gray water pump has been installed to remove gray water from the shower area. There is a black switch that controls the pump to the right of the toilet in a side bath model, and to the left of the shower controls in the front bath model. This pump should only be operated while showering and not left on continually. The shower operates by turning the water on at the shower valve. The left control is for hot water, and the right control is for cold water. The volume control is on the shower handle itself. The toilet is a marine style toilet and does not have a large volume of water in it like a traditional toilet. To add water to the toilet, lift the flush lever until the desired water level is achieved. You will not need to use much water unless you are flushing solids. To flush, push the lever all the way down for five to six seconds. Release the flush lever and allow it to snap back in order to properly seal the flush ball. A small amount of water will remain in the bowl. RV tissue should be used to prevent clogging. Do not let the toilet freeze without winterizing.